the days that you could blame somebody else for your misery, for the situation you're in, for your problems, for your suffering, are over. Finished. Finito. Clar. Gata. Different languages, in case you only speak English. The world is changing, and changing rapidly. I guess you've noticed, otherwise you wouldn't have clicked on this video, you would not even be watching anything I'm saying or doing. And in this video, I'm going to share with you some factual things, like changes that are really happening, some possibilities, how these changes may manifest, and what you can do with this. I mean, what the consequences will be of all these changes, how it will affect your life, and what you can do to ride this wave. So, for this one, I would really say, put on your seat belts. Because it's going to be a ride. Like, subscribe, and share. Hi, my name is Lotfi Murat. And now, let's just dive into this. Whether you're watching the 8 o'clock news, reading newspapers, reading news online, or avoiding all of that, or only watching alternative news, you do know and even feel in your bones that a lot is happening. I've talked about this already many times. Our son is at its peak now when it comes to activity, to solar flares, uh, solar storms blasting our way. And that's all part of the whole transformation, also the solar system being in a different part of space, together with the whole Milky Way, with a higher fr uh, frequency, higher vibration. Um, it all causes for transformation. And all that is happening in the physical world is also happening within us. It's affecting us. So whether you believe that we're being affected by the physical world or that the physical world is manifestation of our own vibration, our own frequency, our own thoughts, that does not matter. Either way, it's all connected. Some want to stay away from everything that is bad that is happening in the world and just want to walk around like this and like that. I don't hear it, I don't see it, so it doesn't exist. It may be possible for you to do this, yet for a lot of people, they can do it sometimes. But then, through the daily job, or taking the kids to school, or going to the market, or whatever interaction outside of your home, you get confronted with what's happening. And these confrontations will get intenser and intenser. We see already that tensions, at least in politics, are rising everywhere within countries, within cities, between different political parties, is left versus right versus center versus extreme, this extreme, that less extreme, more extreme. <clears throat> it's country against countries, religion against religion, it's race against race, it's ideology against another ideology, it's the South Hemisphere against the Northern Hemisphere for some people. It's BRICS against NATO, which are two different things because BRICS is an economical 
coalition and NATO is a military coalition. But BRICS countries are also, or many of them are cooperating militarily and NATO countries are cooperating for a big part also economically. And we see all these polarities happening. But tension rising, rising, rising. And why is that? For any transformation, for any growth, we need to let go of the old. So we need to clean out the old. If you want new clothes, you need space for them in your cabinet, in your closet. So you have to take out the old clothes, bring them to charity or to recycling or just dump them in the trash, whatever. The same applies for our relationships, for our friendships, for our love relationships, for our relationships within family, um, with friends, with neighbors, with colleagues, with food, with our bodies, with ourselves. All of that is transforming. At the same time as, let's say, it's a purification within you and between you and the world you interact in. But it's not just you, it's happening for everyone. And so when it comes to politicians, lies come to surface. For example, some, some woman killed her very rich father two years ago, and now they discovered that she paid for it. It is no coincidence that a lot is coming to the surface now. It's not a coincidence that there is a lot of censoring happening now. Because of everything that's coming to the surface, those in power who have been ruling with, with instigating fear, uh, controlling the narrative, and a lot of lies, don't want that to come to surface. And so politicians are fighting each other, but they're actually mostly afraid of whatever the other may expose about them or what they may have to expose about themselves when their fight gets more and more public. Which is great, by the way. It makes for very nice... Um, uh, how you call it? Reality TV, no, that's not the word. From the very nice comedy. And sometimes people send me something and they're really upset about what's going on in the country with the politicians and stuff like that. And I look at it, I just start laughing. Because if that would happen in a TV show, people would laugh about it. And they would not believe, because they would not believe that that would actually happen. Come on. It would be really stupid. Yeah, well... Uh, these really stupid things are happening and actually there's more stupid stuff happening in real life than what we see on TV. I mean things are much worse. So real life is a much better comedy show. That's why you see all these cartoons of uh, of aliens watching Earth and like oh this is season 24. Oh what's going to happen next? We thought they already reached the le the top level in 2020 or 2021 or 2022. Let's grab some more popcorn and sit and watch. And this is a way of approaching things. Because you can take life very seriously, but you will not survive anyway. I forgot the name of the guy who said this. It's a quote. Uh, I posted it on my LinkedIn and on my Facebook and Instagram. But I added something to it. Relax. There's a high chance that one of the truths that will come to the surface is our or origin. That we did not come from one couple of which one came from the rib of the other that we were simply an evolution from animals.
there is a lot that's been found now evidence to or that's let's say there's a lot of evidence found now by archaeologists for example which disproves what's written in our history books and there is also very clear public evidence that some very big institutions are doing everything they can to cover things up. They may be still partially successful today, but if you just start looking around, you'll see like, oh, uh -huh. things don't add up anymore. There are cracks, there are cracks in the system everywhere. And so, I do not say that the following things will happen per se, but there is a realistic chance, and even scientists, mainstream scientists agree on this. I mean, if they already agree on this, then those who are not mainstream and go much deeper may have a whole book to write about it. But we may get to know in the coming two to five years that we didn't just originate here on Earth, that we are connected to many other species around the universe, that life didn't develop as we thought, that we are not so unique as we think we are, but unique in another way. That aliens have been walking amongst us for a very long time. That we are partially aliens, all of us. That's what they have discovered in genetics. that there is an abundance of free energy available to us with technology that has been available to us but has been suppressed and that will become available again meaning our whole economy will have to change, will have to transform all the debt that exists, which is fake, because how can you owe your national bank money if the national bank just printed it? I mean, they could charge you for the printing, but that's it. A lot will change. So yeah, we may experience a total collapse of the economy. We may experience a very deep depression. We may not experience that. We may have a rough period, but then with our ingenuity, our adaptability, we may just make a relatively fast transition to a new system and from there transitioning to an even better system, um, growing with the amount of technology that becomes available and that helps transforming our whole being, which would mean that our life, the way we know it, will no longer exist, that we do not need to do certain things and able to basically just survive, but we can start to focus on our passions, on what we love to do, which is not hoarding money because money will not have the same value anymore. But for those who love to create things with their hands, we'll start to create. For those who love to dance, we'll start to dance. And with all the technology we have, we do not need to do as much as we did for the past few thousand years just to be able to stay alive. But another aspect of this is in the rise of frequency, in the rise of vibration, people open up and open up and start to connect from here. 
telepathy may become really a thing. When all the lies are being purged, honesty comes to the surface. Honesty starts to rule, to become the norm. And so our interactions become completely different. We get more harmony. We get more unity. And of course, unity is something the current rulers are afraid of. They still follow what Julius Caesar said. Divide, then conquer. That's why you see so much polarity and, and polarity that's being fed with whatever they can just to keep people fighting each other about nothing, about irrelevant things. People fight over who's the most beautiful Miss Universe, they call it. Well, it's not even Miss Earth. Well, people are being bombed every day around the corner. Some countries are literally sucking dry other countries from their resources, while the people in those countries are poor. But this will not happen anymore because when there is consciousness and unity, people will start to join force and do things together. Aside from the fact that energy will be freely available, a lot of things will become easier, but we can also produce things more cleanly. Less toxic. We do not need to mine so many things because having enough energy, we can suddenly do things that were before not um, affordable or financially not viable. So a lot of this is going to happen. I believe it. I'm not saying it's a fact and it will all happen in this order, but this is what I can feel. I hear it around me from certain people who are on a certain frequency, but I also can feel it. And you see on my face that I'm not afraid of this. I'm like, yeah, stuff will happen, but then better stuff will come. Every time a door closed in my life, eventually a new one opened. And the eventually depended on how much I was trying to hold on to the old one. But then when the new one opened, things did this. Always. And if I remember it, I'll put a link up here of a video where I share how everything happens for a good reason. Even those horrible things or that we consider to be horrible. And I literally talk about life and death in that video. Now I remember. So, what can you do? Well, I've said that also in many videos already. To navigate these very interesting... Um, how do you say? Spannend... It's a Dutch word, uh, exciting, also sometimes challenging, challenge, <clears throat> challenging things, but they're not going to be such big a challenge if, if we don't hold on to the old. If we let go of the old and we open for the new, it will go very easily. Things that can help is physical grounding, energetic grounding, meditation in whatever shape or form that you can do and I I do share a lot about this on my website and I also teach this all, all these things I teach if you're in the corporate world then this is called managing your stress levels reducing stress avoiding stress managing it relaxation Being open for new opportunities. Deciding for yourself that what's in the past is in the past. And that the only way is forward. And the only way to do that, to go forward, is to be in the here and now. Because only now you can take a step. 
because you do not know how much time you have left ahead of you and whatever is in the past you cannot change except for trauma healing then we can work on that and knock knock who's there I'm a dog and I'm scratching myself I need to do it very loud to annoy Lotfi when he's recording a video yeah so with trauma healing when you heal the trauma you can erase even the wound from your system you will still have the memory but not that not the trauma or even the memory will transform into a life lesson of which you can use the knowledge but it is as if it didn't happen to you anymore because you fully digested it it's also something i do both sexual and non-sexual trauma So decide for yourself now, what do you want? Do you want to hold on as long as you can to what you know, because even if it's not perfect, you know it so it's safe? Or are you open to endless possibilities, literally endless possibilities? And not be afraid for your own well-being and the well-being of the people you love, maybe even if you have children and stuff, because that's often the excuse, yeah, but I have this and I have that and I have that and I'm all responsible, all those things. Well, your children incarnated to be with you at this time, this time of change. So your children will survive whatever's going to come. It's just your fear that's blocking you from riding the wave smoothly or in a fun way. I hope this video triggered you, fucked up your brain, made you laugh, or made you feel a little bit more relaxed. Whatever way you took it, it's fine. It's your process. It's your way of digesting these things. But change is happening and much more change is coming. What exactly? Nobody knows. But it's clear that the energy is doing this. So you can either go with it or start torturing yourself. If you need help and support in riding this new wave, then I'm here. I can help you. Or go work with somebody else. If you feel that somebody else is better at this, fine. But do something. It's your responsibility and only your responsibility, nobody else's, how your life will feel, how your life will be from now on. You cannot blame others for your situation anymore. That is over. Those times are over. So, Decide what you're going to do. See you in the next video. Or in the next meeting. Like, subscribe and share.